Hi, this is Johnny Shannon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import Landsat data into Erdas Imagine. So you can download Landsat data and a whole heap of other stuff from earthexplorer.usgs.gov. It's all free, but it does come in this format, which is a tar.gz format. So this is something that's already been, uh, been compressed twice, in fact. So if we open it up with uh, your zip program of choice, then you'll see that it immediately goes to a .tar format. And then if we right hand click and open inside, I'll just save a little bit of time here. Then what we see is that inside the tar GZ is all the individual bands in separate TIFF files. And so we've got the multispectral bands, the thermal bands, panchromatic, the cirrus and the QA bands here. Um, the MTL is the header information, and that's the one thing that you might actually want to extract uh, individually from these files. But we don't have to worry about uh, taking all those individual files and then doing layer stack because Imagine can do it all for us. If we go to the Manage Data tab and click on Input Data, and we change that to uh, Landsat 7 or Landsat 8 from USGS, we can make that our favorite import by clicking the star there. And then we can select the input file. We select the compressed file. We don't need to decompress it. And I'll just check that's going to the right place. It is. We just need the root of the output name there to be correct. And then we can click OK. And what this does is that Zerdas looks at the file and it splits it up into all its component parts. So we've got the download tar gz file here. Um, extractor directory, so that's where the file is going to be decompressed to. It defaults to your standard Erdas temporary directory. And if you click on the use temporary storage button there, it's on by default, then your uh, decompressed files will be deleted at the end of the import process. And then we've got a range of import options we've got. We can import the multispectral data, the thermal data, the pan data, the multispectral and thermal in one combined data set and then the QA and the Cirrus data. These are new to Landsat 8. Um, if you've got Landsat 7 ETM plus data with SLC off, then you also have the chance to import the gap masks and those can be useful for masking out uh, uh, data poor areas where in Landsat 7. So in this instance, I'm just going to import the multispectral data, the pan data, and the QA and Cirrus data. And then you click OK. And then it spends a little bit of time thinking while it uh, decompresses the data, but then it'll bring it in to the new files. And in best Blue Peter style, here's one I prepared earlier. And so here's our input data, imported data. We've got the, we've got the pan, if we uh, fit the frame, you can see it, and the multispectral. And also the Cirrus and the QA data. And so that's a really easy way of getting Landsat data into Erdas Imagine. So I hope you found that useful. I'll be coming back and uh, talking more about the Cirrus and QA data in a later um, tip video. But until then, um, hope that's useful and be in touch soon.